Right now we want to check in with Justin because you know hurricane season is not over yet. Mm -mm. In fact, <laughs> we're getting to the peak of hurricane season, which is actually just about two weeks away at this point, yep. September 10th. So we are still in hurricane season through November, as Amy just mentioned, as we continue to make sure that you are weather prepared. We're learning the best way to get to safety. I'm very excited. Joining me this morning in studio to share the most updated date evacuation maps is Francis Rodriguez with the Houston Galveston Area Council. Good morning, Francis. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank so you for far. having me. You know, this is something I think in particular that especially with the amount of new people that come into the greater Houston Galveston area, it's over tens of thousands every single year. Yep. And it's a lot of folks that maybe have never experienced a hurricane before mm -hmm. with the exception of just seeing one on TV. Whole different ball game when it's in your backyard, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, it's a whole different ball game. And um, you know, some of our main efforts right now are making sure that those people know how to prepare for a hurricane. And part of that is knowing how to evacuate and if you need to evacuate, which means are you in one of the evacuation zones, one of the zip zones? Mm -hmm. Very important too. Okay, so what is the role of HGAC in putting these evacuation maps together? Because I assume that they're not just haphazardly <laughs> thrown together, right? No. There's planning routes, there's, I would assume, evacuation based on population densities, all of that. So the, the routes are actually designated by DPS, the okay. Texas Department of Public Safety, um, which we work very closely with DPS mm -hmm. when we're going through the development and the creation of the maps. Uh, we also work with our local uh, management officials um, and elected officials mm -hmm. when it comes to the evacuation zones, those zip zones that are designated and making sure that those are done by zip code. So if you um, live in an evacuation zone, then you'll see your zip code on that map. Yeah. If you do not see your zip code on that map, then you are not in an evacuation zone. So very important to, to remember. That's very important as well. Okay, so the question other uh, folks might have too is how often do these maps get updated? You know, I know that that's something uh, during Rita in particular, you know, you had evacuation zones different when we had Harvey with, yeah. you know, Barrel this, this winter, or excuse me, uh, this last month as well. Um, are these an every year thing? Is this more of a biannual or what are we looking at here? It, it's on a needed basis. Okay. So they're reviewed annually. We work together annually, but as if they're actually updated, as if there are any changes, mm -hmm. that's really as an on, on needed as basis. Got it. Okay. Um, and so it just, this year we did have a change. Okay. Um, we added SH 146. That piece, it's west of Graham Parkway. Got it. From 330 up to I 10. So here's the map right here. The yeah. Right. So okay. this piece. This piece right here, mm -hmm. this piece right here was added and that was in the plan as of last year, but it wasn't added until this year. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was the reason for adding that along 146 there in particular? It's to give people another option. So whenever they come up from like the Baytown area and yeah. they're coming up, they can go um, you know, east and then go up north, continuing on 146, 146 or they can head County, to I-10 yeah. and head out west. Okay, so right, so give them another another opportunity option. to get out if mm -hmm. they need to. And yeah. obviously one of the most f f familiar, I guess I should say more popular ones that most folks know about is getting off of Galveston Island, yeah. right? What's, so just talk about that for a second because yeah. it's, it's one of those things that, and again, I'll go back to the idea. If you have new people that are new to Houston, Galveston area, they don't realize yeah. it literally is an island. It there is. is one way on. One way off, yeah. for the most part, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's where the zip zone maps come. Uh, th that's when they come into play. Okay. Uh, when elected officials call for an evacuation, mm -hmm. they're going to call in an orderly manner, starting with this coastal zone right here, this okay. purple zone. Um, but you're right. We have a lot of people that are just new to the region, but we also have a lot of people here that vacation. Right. So that's, that's something else that we want to think about is making sure that those people who are here on vacation, you know, for Fourth of July, sure. which is in hurricane season, right. Labor Day weekend in yeah, hurricane season, in hurricane season, we want to yeah. make sure that those folks know if they need to evacuate, how right. they can evacuate if they need to. And where do you go at that point, right? And what's the best way? Absolutely. Okay. So if people are interested in these maps, if they are new, or if let's yeah. just say you, you know what, I just want to have this for my family in case we do run into that scenario, where can they go to find this? They're available on our website. Okay. It's h-gac.com slash hurricane. Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy way to get to it as well. And the best part is it's free. Absolutely. 100%. Right. All right, All Francis, right. thank you very much for My joining pleasure. me this morning. I appreciate that. Hopefully we will not need these maps for the rest of hurricane season. Hopefully not. We'll put our fingers together and hope that's not the case as well. All right. We got a lot more coming up with the rest of the half hour here as well. It is 742. We will see you right after the break.